Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the ranch. I'm Dr. Lee, and it is, as you can well see, another beautiful day in South Texas. It's about 80 degrees out here right now. Nice little gentle breeze blowing from the south. The relative humidity is low. We've had some nice rains over the last few weeks. So the, the grasses are just as green as they can be. All the wildlife are just really doing well. The does are getting heavy in their pregnancy, so we should see a bunch of babies coming around pretty soon. But nevertheless, the weather is just absolutely gorgeous and life has been treating us well too. I hope the weather's good where you are and as us, I hope life is treating you well too. But anyway guys, this is gonna be a different kind of video today. And my goodness, how many times have I started out a video with those words? But uh, you know, I guess you're. But I guess you expect that from me these days. But nevertheless, this one's going to be um, just kind of a crazy video. And I, and to set the stage for you, many of you know that my son Matt um, acquired some go karts recently from Go Power Sports, a, a really wonderful company, and uh, they really take care of you. But he decided. If one motor on a go-kart is good, two ought to be great. So he tore the back end off one go-kart, wheels, axle, motor and all, and hooked it onto another one, and he made him a twin-engine six-wheel go-kart. So he had this front end of a go-kart, didn't know what to do with it, and you know Mark, Mark the, the tinkerer, the mechanic, he can fix anything and he always has some projects going and he loves go-karts. So Matt gave him the front end off this other go-kart. And I think right then, Mark got it in his head. He wanted to make a super go-kart out of this thing. So he, you know, has his own YouTube channel and he's been doing some stuff with it. And we have some friends up in the Fort Worth, Dallas area that are YouTubers that we've known for probably a little over a year. And um, one in particular, uh, Stephen Cox, who has a great YouTube channel. You need to check him out if, if you haven't heard of Stephen, and more than likely you already have. But he's on YouTube, he's on Instagram, uh, just a terrific young man. And uh, he, knowing Mark's situation, Mark's cancer and all, he, he told me, he said, you know, Lee, if we can make Mark get his mind off of his problems for one hour, then anything we could do is worthwhile. And boy, let me tell you, he lived up to that. He came down and he brought another fella, Justin, who also has a great YouTube channel called Good of the Land. Um, they both came down last week. They, they took off from their jobs. They left their families from Monday through Friday and came down here only to help Mark. And uh, Go Power Sports also uh, uh, came up and um, donated a motor, rear axle, wheels, tires, the, the clutch system, the pulleys, belts, everything that they needed to make a super go-kart. So they had all the raw materials, they got shipped to Mark's house, and then all we needed is the wisdom and the brains and the guys that knew how to do it. So these two mechanics came from North Texas, came down here, spent the week, and that is the basis for this story. Um, one other little tidbit of information, Andy Rawls, who also has a, a wonderful YouTube channel, had uh, both Justin and Stephen Cox out at his uh, business the other day, and Matt came in there, and I, there may or may not have been a little bit of trash talking about who's gonna have the fastest go-kart. So there's the impetus for this video right there. I'm gonna start this video off filming over at Mark's house with the construction build of the go-kart, and then we will end it taking the go-kart, the final product, out to Matt's house for the ultimate race, and you, um, can uh, be, a, be a judge of that on down the road. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. So, hey all right, here's our work crew. What's up guys? Howdy. This is Justin from the good of the land. Yep. Check him out on YouTube, sub to him. This is Stephen Cox. Just Stephen Cox on YouTube. That's it's right. real simple. That's sub, easy sub to him too. And uh, all three of these guys have been working today. It doesn't look like a whole lot's been done here but they've been at it because there's a lot of uh, 
small things that need to be done. And Stephen, what do you got going over here, buddy? This looks uh, pretty involved. So um, we had a Predator 212 nope. engine sent to us by GoPowerSports.com. Or sorry, uh, Predator 420. Big block, baby. Big block sent us to us by uh, GoPowerSports.com, and they sent a Stage Two performance kit, <laughs> which comes with the. Uh, this is the old camshaft. Because it's a brand new cam, comes with a couple of new um, valve springs and some other go fast parts. So took the whole engine apart and got the internals done. Now I'm just working on the valve springs and getting it back together. And we should, like this factory engine puts about 13 horsepower with a stage two kit. It should be around 20 to 21 horsepower, which should be pretty fun in the go-kart. Wow, that is going to be mighty exciting. That's, that is my entire goal for when I came up with the idea for this build. I was like, I had this military engine and I wanted to put it on this cart. And then when I talked to Matt, I was over at Andy's and I was like, we need to put that engine in there so he can beat you. And like, that four by six is going down and he just goes, I'm like, oh, we'll see. So I got to race you. Yeah, we figured this out. You guys can tell by all the cameras that are set up. This is definitely a bunch of YouTubers in here. Yeah. Justin, tell me what you've been doing on the, uh, you're, you're the chassis man. Is that, uh, is that I'm correct? One, I'm one of them. There's two yeah. of them here. Yes, sir. So we did a little bit of measuring and finagling and got the axle kind of where we want it. And then we could not find bushings locally, so we had to build some. Oh so my gosh. we have rubber bushings in here. We went ahead and took um, actually some uh, steel pipe and um, we made, uh, so, okay, what you can't see in here, and I can't take it apart because you right. know, that, that would require labor. <laughs> and technically, and we're, done today? we're off the clock today. Yeah. So yeah. inside here, there's a little steel bar that runs through there. The bolt goes through that. This is a rubber bushing, and then this was another piece of pipe. And so this, this will actually move relatively freely in the bushing. Right. We're going to grease everything up. Then you'll have your trailing arms, which actually this will all be one, uh, one subframe. And trailing arm will come back this way. It'll mount up to one of these right about here. Uh -huh. And then we're going to have another one as far back in here as we can get it. We're going to come off there this direction, and then we're going to have our and shock the mount. The reason for that is to prevent bending axles. Yeah. Because we're going to. Oh yeah. We're going to. Yeah. Jump, we're going to jump this thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's exciting. Yeah. And, and that that rubber bushing in there will take out a lot of the vibrations to the mm -hmm. frame and all. Yeah, because this thing's going to. That motor is so powerful. I mean. How many horsepower is it going to push It should be out? about 20. They're 13 from the factory. <laughs> 20 horsepower on something that doesn't yep. weigh anything at yeah. all. I mean, it, We've done a lot of power mods, but we did something that we really, oh, yeah. we need you to check out because this, this part of the project is complete and ready to be shown. Yes. So if you can come to the front. All right. Let's see if I can make my way. Okay. Look right here. See that? What do you think that is? This is what, like... Well, that's a that's a long way off for a kill switch. Right, but about a hundred people said you need to put lights uh -huh. in this weird mask thing. So you can okay, look in there. <laughs> <laughs> we have eyeballs. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We have awesome. eyeballs. Awesome. Awesome. They're awesome. Awesome. Bright too, actually. Yeah, they, they look are. good. They are. That's quite bright. Let's show you from the front. All right, guys. Well, that's where we are for the day. Yep. Stephen and Justin. Good job, brothers. Mark, good job, man. You accomplished the hard this is, part. This is going to be awesome. We'll uh, keep, we'll uh, keep you guys up to date on a daily basis and drive these YouTubers crazy. Yep. <laughs> Adios, everybody. Adios. Later. Well, this is day two, everyone, and as you can see, the guys are back in the thick of it again, and they've made a lot of progress. Look at that frame. Is that not perfect? I swear. It is perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> yep. Let's see. I guess I can figure out by that comment who made the frame or who, uh, who, who was in on I it. I may have done work on it, but uh, the design, I don't know if I can really did you, it. Did you hold Justin's? He doesn't, he doesn't want to claim the design yet because he thinks it's going to break. It's gonna break. <laughs> I figured he held your iced tea while you were making it, and that's his claim to... Uh, no, I've been holding the camera the whole time. I okay. Like, and it looks like our buddy Stephen Cox has got this motor almost ready to roll. You almost got to take these exhaust studs out and then um, rewire the ignition. Yep. So you're, you're, you're saying you're not using the starter because the, the uh, high-performance flywheel does not... That does not have teeth on it for the starter yeah. to grab, is that right? Yeah, so the billet flywheel that comes with it has its own fan, so we don't use that fan. And it doesn't have magnets on the inside. So these magnets on the inside use, kind of uses this little stator, 
bolt oh, yeah. here, yep. like that, and as he's passed, that's actually will can do a little charge. Generates electricity, yeah. Exactly, just a little generator, but the yep. flywheel, flywheel, to lighten it up, I guess, they don't come with that, and they don't come with the ring gear, so you have to pull start it. Yeah. And we did install the starter just to kind of keep that hole closed. Right. All right. Good job, Steven. Looks Thanks, great, sir. man. So it looks like they've got everything on this car except the kitchen sink. Oh, we got that too. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's uh, fixed down with some concrete anchors okay. in, into that dirt. <laughs> yeah. Steven, you did all the work on the engine. You do the honors. Crank that sucker up. Get out and fix something. Oh my God, it thumps. Woo! Oh my God. I don't know if chokes on or off. I bet it's off. Oh. I bet that's off. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> no, I like uh, mistakes and things like that to be on camera. Right? I think it's funny. Um, I'm scared of those though. I'm scared to over torque them. Don't be scared. Hey, it's YouTube Inception. Me filming you, filming you. That's right. It doesn't <laughs> ever end. That's a nice tool. Real nice. Make sure you torque it down to 70. You guys have made a lot of headway since yesterday. <laughs> We're pretty done. Getting all the uh, rear axle hooked down, all these supports. Justin made these supports and then welded them on. Mark got the uh, pulleys on up there with the, the belt. About to get the chain all situated on there too. So. You guys aren't too far from rolling with this thing, are you? I, you know, I almost grabbed your, your trailer when I was over at the store. Yeah. Alrighty, well these guys have this go-kart put together now. Now it's time to take it out to the ranch to see how it works. Oh, we also didn't adjust idle. Yeah, I tried, but y'all wouldn't let me. No. Sorry. We just got spark shot somehow. Good. The idle will be fine once it warms up. Yeah. There's some fuel. That damn is nasty. I love it. It's loud, huh? Bum, 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 bum. But just the idle can be so low on this thing. Because that damn, because the power. So leave us in the other. Woo! 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 Main boy! can reach the kill switch. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Hey guys, um, I got these helmets and oh. I feel a little bad about this. When I picked it up, mama bird flew out. Oh no, There's baby. a whole bunch of eggs in there. Go, There's go, no birds, go but they're- Go put it back. Go put it back. Here are the eggs. There's eggs in it. Go put it it's back. It's my helmet. She should have known. <laughs> go put that back right now. Well, the go-kart ran great, except for a potential problem, and that is the gearing is just a little bit high. The motor tends to be lugging and bogging most of the time, but just a change in the gear ratio should take care of that.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Catastrophic uh -oh. failure. Oh no. There, there's sprocket. Oh, oh the sprocket on the bro. Of the torque converter bro. So we gave it one try. And then we stopped. We rolled back actually. I said we stopped. Since we only have front brakes, we skidded backwards as you can see. And I gave it all she's got to try to get up that hill and it broke a sprocket in half. The dry sprocket <laughs> that is on the back of this. That is that that's a lot of power. It sucks a lot. It is, but it sucks a lot because that means we are D-U-N done. Yeah. Yep. Dang it. Neither of y'all got to drive it. It's okay. That's not okay at all. No, the saga Wait. continues. Do you think that those sprockets are at tractor supply? No. We can check on our way to lunch though. I mean, it's a it's a half-inch keyed we'll figure it piece out. of rod. Find them. Ready. Yeah, I'm just still sad Everybody about ready. the go kart. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that is a sad sight. Here, and it's got a whole lot of torque from that motor, and it just sheared that off. So, um,. That motor's a beast. That's kind of all this says right there, is that motor, all those mods that we did to create power, created power. This isn't a cheap part. Nope. So our boys all down and dejected, loaded up and went to Tractor Supply, and lo and behold, they did find a sprocket that they could make work. It was a little bit too thick, so they had to machine it down to make it thinner. And unfortunately, it was a little bit bigger sprocket, which, gave them an even what we call a taller gear, which, which means it was harder, it made the go-kart harder to accelerate. But um, nevertheless, they, they got this thing all machined, they made a collar for it, they welded it all together, they put it on, and with a couple of hours after being broken down, uh, the boys were rolling once again. So uh, granted, the go-kart was lugging a little bit more, but still, they were ready for a race brother to brother. And as you know, you can't get in these kids' way once their mind is made up. So race day is imminent. Bell getting wet. So the boys loaded everything up, got everything ready, and they're headed to Matt's. So what's the plan, gentlemen? What's the plan? Well, we're loading up. We're heading to uh, some guy's house. I guess he has a YouTube channel as well. And, um, yeah. We're going to go out there, and I believe he may have possibly potentially challenged YouTube. Yeah, I think he's got a YouTube channel. To a race, so. he has a YouTube channel? I think so. so yeah. It's kind of going to be like a, a bunch of YouTubers just having fun like we do. Andy's yeah. up there today, too. Andy Rawls, I know that guy. He's awesome. That's good. Yeah, he is. He's okay. Andy's awesome. Uh, All right. You don't have to say that it took us four days to build this thing. <laughs> <laughs> on day well, three. It took you one day to tear it up. That's it. Uh, it took me two days to build, one day to tear it up, another day to yeah. start all over again. 20 minutes to tear it up. <laughs> okay. Break something before. I know, quit it, Mark. <laughs> And you know, as brothers go, 
there may have been a little bit of pre-race taunting going on. You can see Operator Drewski in the middle of this trying to calm his older brothers down so they didn't kill each other. But uh, I thought that was rather cute and also rather expected. like a boxer taunting another before the fight. Yeah, that's super cool. I honestly kind of like how quiet that is. Oh! oh. Okay, so here's the deal as far as who won the race. Stephen Cox and Justin decided that it would not be right for the two of them, nor myself, to show the race of Mark's high-powered go-kart on our channels first. So we're holding off. If you want to watch the race and watch it to the end, you'll have to go over to Mark's channel and and watch it there and that's he homemade everything and at this particular time none of the four of us have yet made a post about this race hopefully within the next day or so you will be able to go watch the race and see who won but let me tell you the true winners in all of this have been the characters as y'all all know, we've been through some hard months here with Mark and the cancer that we're all battling with him. And it's been a, a tough time. And to have these young men leave their families and leave their jobs for an entire week and come down just to brighten our days a little bit has been absolutely golden. And if you will remember, I've had more than one video in the past about kindness, about people that do kind things for other people without being asked. And uh, Stephen and I and Justin and I, we talked a lot about this this week. And, and I, I told them, I let them know that God's plan for us and the reason that we're here is to take care of one another. We use our skills, we use our gifts to help other people who are less fortunate. And I, I just told them, I said, you know, you guys, you've done this out of the goodness of your heart. It's cost you a ton of money. It's cost you being away from your families for a whole week, and that hurts. That you know, it's you know, the, just the fuel down here plus lodging is very, very expensive. And then being away from your job, you're not making any money when you're down here, and being away from your families, that's always tough. Not just tough on you, but tough on your family too. These guys made some big sacrifices just to come down and try to take Mark's mind off of his problems for just a little bit. And that, my friend, is why we are all here. We are here to take care of one another. And these two young men did it in an exemplary manner, and I will forever be indebted to them. And uh, we thank them dearly. They are good, good people, and I would really appreciate it if you go check out their channels. You'll be happy you did, because you can see what kind of people they are just from watching them on YouTube. We already knew, but... Uh, Anyway, now we know for sure. Well, guys, that's it from out on the ranch. I hope you are doing well again, and um, I thank you so much for dropping by and watching this goofy video. Uh, oh, by the way, Mark's doing much better. The last MRI showed the tumor was uh, approximately 50% uh, the size it had been on the previous MRI, so the treatments are working. Mark and I will be headed back to Houston this following week, and also, Uncle Floyd is doing quite well too. So thanks for being our friend. Thanks for stopping by here. I always appreciate the kindness that you guys leave in the comment section. So I would love to open the comment section up to you guys to 
uh, tell Stephen and Justin thank you for what they did. God bless you guys. I hope to see you in church tomorrow, Easter Sunday, and I want you to always remember I love you. Bye-bye now. doing there, huh? Neutering dog, Dad. All right. Who's going to learn you? That's a mistake. <laughs>